My name's Mira Sayal and I'm here because I shall be playing Beatrice in the World Shakespeare's production of Much Do About Nothing next summer. Terrified, absolutely terrified. I've never done a Shakespeare before, so to make your debut in the World Shakespeare Festival is um, probably a little optimistic, but I'm hoping, because I'm, I'm learning at the best place in the world to learn Shakespeare, I'll have an, a lot of fantastic support. But it will be set in India, contemporary, and we really want to make it culturally relevant and alive and sing. Discover Shakespeare along with me because that's what I'm doing. We tech for the rest of the day. You'll probably see a stage of hand you grab me now. So you should be on stage or something, you know what I mean? I don't do techs, me. I don't. I prefer doing it sure. If I could like not do the tech ever again, that'd be awesome. But it's part and parcel of the profession, isn't it? Because you're doing 12 hour days, 10 till 10 or 9 till 9 or 9 till 11 or 9 till 10 every day, knackering, in costume, hot, under lights. But it's good because it's also, you know, that's, that's the first time we think, okay, cool, now we've got a play. Now we know where it's going, where it's heading. And we open as a preview tomorrow, uh, Thursday, uh, our first public showing of it. Because it's set in India, and I think that gives it a whole different perspective on what you expect from what you do. A lot of the issues in, in, in the play, so things like sort of forced marriages, so to speak, and, and sort of the wedding, and the funeral, it actually translates to India quite well. And it's great to have a, an all Asian cast, that's a, a rare treat. Iqbal's approach is really open and laid back. Uh, he said, he said, bring your p into the rehearsal room. He goes, there's a mess in the play, and you guys are not abstractions, you're real people, you bring your stuff in. And we deal with that mess, and out of that mess comes, hopefully, um, you know, the the story. Even with, you know, the watch, who are probably, who've got probably the least to do in the play, he's, he's still come, come to us and said, how do you see it? What do you want to do? Play about with stuff. We didn't want the watch to come over as just buffoonery. Because, you know, people have seen so many productions where you see the watch and it's kind of the light. Now we have the light entertainment in the play. We started to call them uh, the household like the house help. We looked at the, um, the similarities between like Elizabethan England and given the place set in uh, India, in modern day India 2012, we started looking at the links in rehearsals between a system of kind of um, those who serve their masters in India and how that manifests itself in India now. A friend of mine who lives in Delhi, he said it runs on, it, it runs on those who seek employment from those who you know, give employment for house help and all the rest of it. Traditionally, they open the, the second act after the interval, but in our production, we've been integrated in the, the first act as well. So we're really part of the household. Characters like myself, they're so intrinsic for the Leonardo's of this world to have it. You know, they just at a moment's notice, they say, come here, come here, and so forth. So it's my first time at the ROC. I'm very grateful to be here, and I'm hopeful that I'll, I'll stay here, even if I've got a chain myself to handcuffs to that fire exit over there. I'm going to try and see if I can stay here for the next 60 years. <laughs>